Hi, my name is Joel and I'm your tutor online. Today I'm going to show you how to evaluate composite functions. Uh, first, let's define composite functions. Uh, those are when we have two or more functions that we put together to make a new function. Uh, you might sometimes see it as uh, f of g of x or um, g of f of x. Let me show you an example here. Uh, so you might see it sometimes written this way. f of g of x. Oh, let me close that parenthesis there. Um, that's one way to see it. Sometimes you might see it, uh, this fog, f of g of x. Uh, they're both said the same th way and they both mean the same thing. f of g of x. Now to evaluate a function, you just start from the very inside of the parenthesis and you start working your way out. And the best way to get your mind around this is to start with an example. Uh, so let me erase this and we'll get right into an example of f of g of x. Okay, let's say, and uh, most of your problems will give you an f of x uh, and a g of x. So let's say we're working with f of x. And we're going to work with a very easy example just so you can get an idea of the concept. f of x is 2x. I'm going to say g of x is x plus 1. Okay, you might be asked uh, to go ahead and evaluate um, the f of g of x at a certain point. And the way you'll ask uh, in a problem, a typical problem, is find f of g of uh, let's go ahead and do um, 3. Okay, we're going to start from the very inside of the parenthesis and work our way out. Um, so the very inside is a 3, that 3 is in the g. So we're going to be looking at this function over here, the g of x. When uh, there's a number inside that parenthesis, it means anywhere you see an x, replace it with that number. And so since this is g of 3, which is what we're going to be working with first, we're going to go over to this function, and then where we see an x, we're going to replace it with a 3. That's our first step. Find g of 3. Anywhere I see an x, I replace it with a 3. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Or in other words, let's just clean the, the middle part there a little bit. g of 3 is equal to 4. Or another way to read that is g of 3 is the same thing as 4. So anywhere I see a g of 3, I can go ahead and get rid of that and put a 4 instead, just like right up here. So I can get rid of that g of 3 and instead put a 4 right in there. And so what I'm looking for now is f of 4. It's basically the same exact thing, except now we're going to work with that f function. So going over here, f of 4, anywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a 4. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. So f of 4 is 8. And that worked all the way out of the parentheses. And so uh, since that's the last step there, we know that that is our f of g of 3 is 8. And that is our final answer right there. Alright, I just want to show you one more example. Um, let's say that you're asked to find f of g of x or g of f of x, but not given um, a point to evaluate that. Um, you can just go and simplify a composite function. And let's do that here. We'll go ahead and use um, the same functions we started with f of x is equal to 2x and g of x is equal to x plus 1. Let's say we're asked to find g of f of x. You're still going to start at the very inside of the parentheses and anywhere you see that f of x you can replace it with what's on the other side, that equal sign. 
and then work your way out to whatever that answer is, plug it into the g of x. Uh, see how I switched it up when you hear I had to have g of f of x instead of f of g of x. Uh, just to make sure you always go for what's on the inside most of the parentheses. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do uh, some rewriting here. g of f of x means what we're looking for is g of 2x. So since that's f of x there, I just take the 2x and plug it right in, replacing f of x for 2x. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and look at my g of x. Anywhere I see an x in that function, I replace it with what's in that g of the whatever. So g of 2x, anywhere I see an x, I'm going to replace it with 2x. So I see uh, g of x is x plus 1. There's an x at the beginning. Replace it with 2x. And I keep going, and I have that plus 1. So g of 2x is 2x plus 1, which is the same thing as what we just did, g of f of x. We worked our way all the way outside of the parentheses. Okay? Let's go the other way, just so that you can see something very important here. Um, go ahead and do that f of g of x. Plus, it's good just to do extra examples, and you might start to get the concept. Go the other way, f of g of x. First, we're going to take that g of x and plug it in side there. So what we're looking for is f of, instead of g of x, we're going to plug in what g of x is the same thing as, x plus 1. Okay. Now I'm going to look at my f function, and anywhere I, I, anywhere I see an x, I'm going to replace it with x plus 1. Starts with starts off with a 2, so I'm just going to go ahead and write that 2. I see an x, so I'm going to add x plus 1. Notice i got to put a little parenthesis there, because x needs to be replaced with all of what's inside this f of x plus 1. The whole thing, x plus 1, needs to get plugged into wherever there's that x. So I'll go ahead and evaluate. 2x plus 2. So I worked my way all the way outside of the parentheses. I'm done, and I know that f of x plus 1 is 2x plus 2, and uh, that's the same thing as what we just evaluated, um, is f of g of x is 2x plus 2. The thing I wanted to show you here is that g of f of x is not the same thing as f of g of x. You can see these uh, two here. These are not the same. Okay. Well, I hope that was helpful for you, that you're able to understand a little bit better about how to evaluate composite functions. They do get a little more tricky, but just remember, always start from the inside parentheses and work your way out and um, take it step by step. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment uh, here on the video. Go over to my website, yourtutoronline.com, and drop me an email. And uh, I wish you the best. Happy studying.